Welcome, dear listeners, to a realm of tranquility and calmness. In this fast-paced world, finding moments of restful sleep can be a challenge we all face. But fear not, for tonight we embark on a soothing journey through the enchanting landscapes of dreams. I'm Natalie, and I'm here to guide you through a sleep-inducing story that will gently carry you away to a realm of serenity. Imagine a place where worries and stress melt away, where the whispers of a gentle breeze and the soft rustling of leaves create a symphony of relaxation. Our minds often crave an escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life, and that's exactly what we'll provide. As the stars twinkle overhead, we'll traverse through captivating narratives, painting pictures with words, and crafting a safe haven for your mind to wander freely. Whether you're lying in bed, seeking a moment of respite during a busy day, or simply want to unwind, this journey is tailored to transport you to the edges of slumber. I encourage you to find a comfortable position, let go of any lingering stress, and allow yourself to be cradled by the soothing tones of our story. Tonight's tale is a carefully woven tapestry of tranquility, where every word is crafted to guide you gently into a restful state of mind. So, let go of the worries that bind you and embrace the tranquility that awaits. As the story unfolds, Feel yourself drifting into a state of peaceful relaxation, where dreams and reality blend harmoniously. Before we begin, remember to silence any distractions, adjust your lighting to a comfortable level, and let your imagination take flight. So now, my friends, close your eyes and open your heart to a world of calmness and serenity as we embark on this sleep-inducing journey together. Let the magic of storytelling cradle you to sleep, for this is Dreamscapes, a tranquil journey to slumber. In the kingdom of Eldoria, nestled between lush forests and towering mountains, a realm of magic and mystery thrived under the rule of Queen Serafina. Known for her wisdom and grace, Queen Serafina had led her people through times of both peace and turmoil, earning the unwavering loyalty of her subjects. The golden palace towers reaching towards the heavens as if to touch the very clouds. The palace grounds were a tapestry of vibrant colors, with roses, daisies, and tulips swaying in the gentle breeze. Birds sang in harmony, creating a symphony that resonated throughout the land. Inside the palace, Queen Serafina sat at her intricately carved wooden desk, a frown tugging at the corners of her lips. A pile of parchments detailing various matters of the kingdom lay before her, each bearing a pressing issue that demanded her attention. The realm was prospering, yet it seemed that troubles were always just around the corner. One parchment caught her eye, a request from a neighboring kingdom seeking an alliance through marriage. This was a delicate matter, the neighboring kingdom, Lidoria, was known for its military might, and an alliance would certainly strengthen Eldoria's defenses. However, the queen's heart hesitated. She had always believed that love should be the foundation of any marriage, and she worried that an alliance forged solely for political reasons might bring unrest to her own kingdom. As she pondered this, her trusted advisor, Sir Alistair, entered the chamber. 
His silver hair and lined face bore testament to the years he had faithfully served the queen. Your Majesty, he began, with a respectful bow. I bring news from the Council of Elders. They eagerly await your decision regarding the Lydorian Alliance. Queen Serafina looked up, her eyes reflecting the weight of her thoughts. Sir Alistair, I am torn. Forming an alliance with Lydoria could bring stability and security, yet I cannot ignore the importance of love in a marriage. Sir Alistair's expression softened as he approached the desk. Your Majesty, you possess a rare gift, the ability to blend wisdom with compassion. Your subjects look up to you not just as their queen, but as a beacon of hope. Whatever decision you make, it will be the right one. The queen sighed, her fingers tracing the delicate patterns on the parchment. I shall convene a meeting with the Council of Elders today. I want to hear their thoughts on the matter. This decision affects not only me, but the future of Eldoria. Sir Alistair nodded, his eyes filled with understanding. I shall make the necessary arrangements, Your Majesty. Your wisdom will guide us through this dilemma, just as it has guided us through countless challenges before. With a heavy heart, Queen Serafina gazed out of the window, her thoughts a whirlwind of conflicting emotions. As the sun continued its ascent, she knew that the choices she made would shape not only her destiny, but the destiny of her kingdom. The path ahead was uncertain, and the weight of her responsibilities, as both a ruler and a woman, weighed heavily on her shoulders. In the days following Queen Serafina's decision to convene the Council of Elders, the palace buzzed with anticipation. The news of the potential alliance with Lydoria had spread throughout the kingdom, sparking discussions and debates among the citizens. Eldoria's fate seemed to hang in the balance, and every corner of the realm held its breath. The Queen Serafina, seated at the head of a long, ornate table in the council chamber, the room was adorned with tapestries depicting the history of the kingdom, reminding all present of the weight of their responsibilities. The Council of Elders, a group of wise and experienced individuals who advised the Queen, sat around the table, their expressions a mix of concern and curiosity. Esteemed members of the Council, Queen Serafina began, her voice carrying a blend of determination and vulnerability. We gather today to discuss the Alliance proposal from Lidoria. As you are aware, this decision holds great significance for our kingdom's future. The air was thick with tension as the council members exchanged glances and whispered among themselves. The queen's gaze swept across the room, meeting the eyes of each council member acknowledging their presence and the depth of their counsel. One of the council members, a wise elder named Lady Alicia, cleared her throat and spoke, her voice carrying the weight of age and wisdom. Your Majesty, we understand the gravity of this decision. An alliance with Lidoria could indeed provide us with enhanced security. However, we must also consider the heart of the matter, love, unity, and the well-being of our people. A murmur of agreement rippled through the room. Another council member, Lord Alaric, spoke up, his brows furrowed in thought. Queen Serafina, there is a tradition within our kingdom, the quest of unity. It is said that in times of great challenge, a diverse group of individuals with unique skills can come together to overcome any obstacle. Perhaps such a group could assist in this decision-making process. The Queen's eyes brightened at the suggestion. The quest of unity. 
you speak of assembling a party of individuals from different walks of life, each bringing their own strengths to the table. It is an old tradition, but perhaps it is exactly what we need. The council members exchanged intrigued glances, and it was clear that the idea had sparked their imagination. The quest of unity had not been invoked in generations, but its essence still held a special place in the hearts of the Eldorian people. Assemble this party, your majesty, Lady Alicia advised. Let them journey through our kingdom, interact with our citizens, and gain a deeper understanding of our values and challenges. Their insights could provide a fresh perspective on the Alliance proposal. The Queen nodded, her determination renewed. Very well, I shall begin the process of assembling the party. They shall be chosen not just for their skills, but for their compassion, wisdom, and ability to see the bigger picture. And so, the council meeting ended with a renewed sense of purpose. As the council members dispersed, Queen Serafina remained seated, her mind already whirling with thoughts of who would join this party of unity, what challenges they might face, and how their journey might impact the future of Eldoria. In the days that followed the council meeting, Queen Serafina meticulously selected a group of individuals to undertake the quest of unity. Each member possessed a unique skill set and perspective, making them well-equipped to navigate the challenges ahead. Among them were Elian the Archer. Known for his unparalleled marksmanship, Elian's keen eyes and steady hands made him an asset in any situation. Luna the Healer. Luna's gentle demeanor and mastery of healing magic made her an indispensable member, capable of mending wounds and soothing hearts. Kale the Scholar. With his insatiable thirst for knowledge and sharp intellect, Kale's wisdom and research skills were bound to uncover hidden truths. Lyra the Bard. Lyra's enchanting melodies and charismatic presence could inspire hope and unity among even the most disparate groups. Rohan the Tracker. Gifted with a deep connection to the land, Rohan's ability to read nature's signs and track unseen paths was invaluable. Arya the Diplomat. Adept at navigating complex social dynamics, Arya's ability to mediate and communicate ensured a harmonious journey. Cassian the Artificer, a master of crafting and invention, Cassian's resourcefulness and creativity would be crucial in overcoming obstacles. The party gathered at the palace, their diverse backgrounds and skills embodying the very spirit of the quest of unity. Queen Serafina addressed them in the Grand Hall, her eyes shining with a mixture of hope and determination. Brave adventurers, she began. The fate of Eldoria rests upon your shoulders. Through unity and understanding, you shall journey to the heart of our realm, the enchanted forest. There, you will encounter trials that will test your bonds and your resolve. The enchanted forest was a place of wonder and mystery, where magic intertwined with the natural world in ways that defied explanation. It was said that the forest could reveal one's true nature, reflecting both light and shadow. With the forest as their destination, the party set forth, their hearts filled with anticipation and trepidation. As they entered the forest, the air seemed to shimmer with an ethereal light, and the sounds of rustling leaves and distant whispers filled the air. The party moved cautiously, alert to the forest's secrets. Each member's unique abilities proved valuable. Elian's keen eyes spotted hidden paths. Luna's healing magic soothed injuries caused by thorns and brambles. And Rohan's tracking skills ensured they stayed on course. 
forest challenged them with trials that tested not only their skills, but also their cooperation. They encountered a river whose waters glowed with an otherworldly light, and Arya's diplomacy was key in negotiating passage with a water spirit guarding the way. In a clearing filled with haunting melodies, Lyra's music soothed the spirits of the forest, allowing them to continue without interference as they pressed deeper into the forest. Tensions arose among the party members. Kale's thirst for knowledge led them into a tangled thicket, while Cassian's eagerness to invent solutions sometimes clashed with Rohan's preference for a more natural approach. Luna's soothing words and Queen Serafina's guidance helped mend these rifts, reminding them of their shared purpose. At last, they reached the heart of the enchanted forest, a shimmering glade where a mysterious figure awaited. The figure, a guardian of the forest, spoke with a voice that echoed like the wind. You seek unity and understanding, yet you bring both light and shadow within you, the guardian intoned. Only by embracing both aspects can you forge true unity and guide Eldoria's future. The party members exchanged knowing glances, understanding that the guardian's words held a deeper truth. With newfound clarity, they opened their hearts and shared their fears, hopes, and vulnerabilities. As they did, the glade's magical aura intensified, enveloping them in a brilliant light. When the light subsided, the guardian spoke once more. You have proven your worth and forged a bond that will guide you. Return to the kingdom, for your journey has just begun. With the guardian's blessing, the party emerged from the enchanted forest, their spirits renewed, and their unity stronger than ever. As they returned to Eldoria, they carried with them not only the wisdom gained from their trials, but also a deeper understanding of each other and the kingdom they were destined to protect. Upon their return to Eldoria, the party found the kingdom in a state of unrest. Rumors of their journey through the enchanted forest had spread, and the citizens were divided in their opinions about the Lydorian alliance. Some saw it as a necessary step for security, while others feared it would compromise the kingdom's values. Queen Serafina welcomed the party back to the palace, her eyes reflecting a mixture of relief and concern. You have returned at a critical juncture, she said, her voice laden with worry. Our kingdom stands divided, and the decision regarding the alliance must be made soon. Your insights are needed more than ever. Eager to share their experiences, the party recounted their trials in the enchanted forest and the lessons they had learned about unity and understanding. The queen listened attentively, her gaze shifting from one party member to another as they spoke. It is clear, Queen Seraphina mused, that the key to our kingdom's strength lies not only in alliances forged for political gain, but in the unity of our people. Your journey has illuminated a path forward, one that values diversity and embraces both light and shadow. With the party's guidance, the queen decided to hold a great assembly, a gathering of Eldoria's citizens, where their opinions would be heard and their concerns addressed. The assembly was set to take place in the heart of the kingdom, the Plaza of Unity. As the day of the great assembly arrived, the plaza buzzed with activity. Citizens from all walks of life gathered, their faces a mixture of hope and apprehension. The party members stood on a raised platform, their presence a symbol of unity and strength. Queen Serafina addressed the crowd, her words ringing out with a blend of authority and compassion. My people, 
The destiny of Eldoria is in our hands. The decision regarding the Lidorian Alliance is not solely mine to make. It is ours, collectively. One by one, citizens came forward to express their thoughts and concerns. The archer, Elian, spoke of the importance of strong defenses, while the scholar, Kale, emphasized the value of knowledge and diplomacy. Luna, the healer, spoke of healing not only physical wounds, but the wounds of division within the kingdom. Lyra's melodies resonated with the hearts of the people, fostering a sense of unity. And Arya's diplomacy ensured that differing opinions were respected. The plaza echoed with a cacophony of voices, each representing a different perspective. The party members listened with empathy, understanding that unity did not mean agreement on every issue. As the sun set and the stars began to twinkle in the sky, the queen raised her hand, signaling for silence. We have heard the voices of our people, and their wisdom is a testament to the strength of Eldoria, Queen Serafina announced. We shall forge an alliance with Lidoria, not out of fear, but out of a shared commitment to peace and security. A hush fell over the plaza as the citizens absorbed the Queen's decision. The party members exchanged glances, recognizing the significance of this moment. The alliance was not just a political move. It was a reflection of the unity they had fostered, the bonds they had formed, and the lessons they had learned. As the assembly dispersed, the party remained in the plaza, reflecting on the journey they had undertaken. The forest had taught them that unity did not mean erasing differences, but embracing them and working together despite them. And in that spirit, they knew that the journey of Eldoria was far from over. With the decision to forge an alliance with Lidoria made, the kingdom of Eldoria shifted its focus towards the preparations for the alliance ceremony. Yet, amidst the celebrations and anticipation, a sense of unease lingered in the air. Whispers of an ancient prophecy, hidden for generations, began to surface. Rumors of the prophecy reached the ears of the party members, piquing their curiosity. It was said that the prophecy held the key to a hidden truth, one that could alter the course of Eldoria's destiny. Intrigued and sensing that this mystery was connected to their journey, the party embarked on a quest to uncover the truth behind the prophecy. Their search led them to the Royal Archives, a repository of knowledge and history guarded by the scholars of Eldoria. With Kale's expertise, they delved into ancient texts and scrolls, piecing together fragments of the prophecy. It spoke of a time of division and turmoil, when the kingdom would face a choice that would shape its fate. As they deciphered the prophecy, a name emerged, the Sundered Crown. It was said that the one who could mend the Sundered Crown would bring unity to Eldoria and ensure its prosperity. The party understood that the crown was not a literal object, but a symbol of the kingdom's unity and strength. Their quest took them to forgotten ruins and hidden chambers, where they encountered trials that tested their bond and resolve. Luna's healing magic mended shattered statues. Elian's archery skills unlocked ancient mechanisms, and Lyra's melodies resonated with the spirits of the past. Each trial brought them closer to understanding the prophecy's significance. During their journey, the party also encountered a mysterious figure known as the Oracle. Cloaked in shadow, the oracle's words were enigmatic, yet laden with wisdom. The choice lies not in the forging of alliances, but in the forging of hearts. Only when 
unity is tested. Can it be true? As the party members delved deeper into the mystery, their bonds grew stronger. Through challenges and triumphs, they saw the prophecy come to life before their eyes. They realized that the choice was not merely about alliances, but about embracing diversity and forging a kingdom where unity was not just a word, but a way of life. At last, in a hidden chamber deep beneath the palace, the party found a tapestry depicting the kingdom's history, the rise and fall of rulers, the struggles and triumphs of its people. In the center of the tapestry was the symbol of the sundered crown, split into halves. As they gazed upon the tapestry, the pieces of the puzzle fell into place. The sundered crown was a metaphor for the kingdom itself, divided by doubt, fear, and differing opinions. The prophecy spoke not of a physical crown, but of the hearts of the people, and the party's journey through the enchanted forest had been a test of their commitment to unity. Armed with this understanding, the party returned to the palace, determined to share their insights with Queen Serafina and the people of Eldoria. The alliance ceremony was imminent, but the true task was not just to forge an alliance with Lydoria, but to mend the sundered crown within their own kingdom. As the day of the alliance ceremony drew near, the kingdom of Eldoria bustled with activity. The city streets were adorned with colorful banners, and the palace gleamed in the sunlight. The air was filled with a sense of anticipation and excitement, but beneath it all, a current of tension still lingered. The party members, armed with the knowledge of the prophecy and the lessons they had learned, gathered in the palace's grand hall. Queen Serafina stood at the center, her regal presence a beacon of strength and grace. The party recounted their journey, the mysteries they had unraveled, and the true essence of the sundered crown. Unity is not merely a concept, but a choice we make each day, Elian the archer spoke passionately. Our strength lies not just in alliances, but in the understanding and empathy that unite us as a kingdom. Luna, the healer, continued, the choices we make as individuals ripple through the kingdom, shaping our destiny. Just as healing requires balance, so does our unity. Lyra's melodies weaved through the air, carrying a message of hope. Music has the power to unite even the most discordant notes. Our differences, when harmonized, create a symphony that resonates through time. With each party member's words, the understanding of the prophecy's true meaning deepened, and the truth behind the choice Eldoria faced became clear. The party was not just a group assembled for a quest. They were the embodiment of the kingdom's diversity and strength. As the ceremony commenced, citizens and dignitaries from both Eldoria and Lidoria gathered to witness the forging of the alliance. Amidst the grandeur, a sudden disturbance rippled through the air. A figure emerged from the shadows, her presence ominous and her eyes gleaming with a dark power. It was the Sorceress of Shadows, a powerful and enigmatic figure who had long dwelled in the fringes of Eldoria's history. Rumored to possess dark magic and a thirst for control, she had watched the events unfold from the shadows, her intentions unknown. The Sorceress spoke with a voice that seemed to echo from the depths of the earth. Eldoria's fate hangs in the balance, Queen Serafina. The choice you make today will determine the kingdom's future. Queen Serafina's expression remained steadfast, her resolve unwavering. The choice has already been made, sorceress. 
we choose unity and understanding, embracing both light and shadow. The sorceress's laughter reverberated through the hall. Your naivete blinds you, queen. Unity is but an illusion. A fragile thread that can be easily broken. With a wave of her hand, the sorceress summoned shadows that swirled and coalesced into menacing forms. The party members stepped forward, their unity shining as a shield against the darkness. Each member used their unique skills to counter the sorceress's magic, their bond and understanding creating a barrier that held strong. The battle raged on, light clashing against darkness, unity against division. The citizens watched in awe and trepidation, witnessing the kingdom's destiny being shaped by the clash of forces. In the midst of the confrontation, Queen Serafina stepped forward, her voice resonating with unwavering determination. Our unity is not an illusion, sorceress. It is a choice, a commitment, and a testament to the strength of our kingdom. With a final surge of power, the party members managed to disperse the sorceress's shadows, revealing her true form, a woman whose heart had been consumed by bitterness and fear. Queen Serafina extended a hand, her voice soft yet firm. It is not too late to choose a different path. The sorceress looked into the queen's eyes, her gaze faltering. With a deep breath, she let go of her dark magic, allowing it to dissipate into the air. The weight of her choices lifted. She stepped into the light, her form gradually transforming from one of darkness to one of redemption. The citizens of Eldoria watched in awe as the sorceress's transformation symbolized the power of choice, unity, and the capacity for change. The alliance ceremony resumed, this time imbued with a sense of hope and understanding that transcended borders. The sorceress's confrontation marked a turning point in Eldoria's history. The party's unity and understanding had not only averted a crisis, but had also ignited a spark of transformation within the very heart of darkness. With the alliance sealed and the lessons learned, Eldoria's path was clearer than ever, a future built on unity, empathy, and the courage to choose the light, even in the face of shadows. With the alliance between Eldoria and Lidoria sealed, and the threat of the Sorceress of Shadows quelled, a sense of harmony settled over the kingdom. The plaza, once divided by differing opinions, now stood as a symbol of unity, adorned with colorful banners that fluttered in the breeze. In the wake of the alliance ceremony, a new challenge emerged, one that would test the party's bonds and the lessons they had learned. Reports reached the palace of a peculiar phenomenon sweeping across the land, a deep slumber that had befallen some citizens. It was as if a mysterious curse had enveloped Eldoria, casting people into an enchanted sleep from which they could not awaken. The party, armed with their unique skills and unwavering determination, gathered once again to confront this new threat. Queen Serafina stood before them, her expression grave. Our people are in peril, and it is up to us to discover the source of this curse and put an end to it. Luna, the healer, recalled ancient tales of a slumbering enchantment that had once been broken by the purest of hearts. The party's journey led them to the outskirts of the kingdom, where the sleeping woods lay, an enchanted forest said to hold the key to breaking the curse. As they entered the woods, a sense of enchantment surrounded them. The air was thick with magic, and the colors of the forest seemed to shimmer with an otherworldly light. Ancient trees 
whispered secrets, and the ground beneath their feet pulsed with an energy that was both awe-inspiring and eerie. The party encountered citizens trapped in slumber, their expressions peaceful yet distant. Luna's healing magic, while powerful, had no effect on the curse. It was clear that breaking the curse required more than just magic. It required an understanding of the curse's origin and a willingness to confront the shadows that lay within. As they journeyed deeper into the sleeping woods, Kale the scholar uncovered an old legend about a guardian spirit, a creature born of light and shadow, capable of weaving powerful enchantments. The legend spoke of a choice made in the past that had led to the guardian's anger, and the curse was a consequence of that anger. The party's encounters with the guardian were marked by trials that tested their understanding of unity and empathy. Elian's keen aim broke through illusions, revealing the truth behind the Guardian's anger. Lyra's melodies resonated with the Guardian's heart, and Arya's diplomacy eased the tension between light and shadow. At last, in the heart of the woods, they stood before the Guardian, a majestic creature with wings of light and shadow. The Guardian's eyes glowed with a mixture of sorrow and longing. You have come to break the curse, but do you understand the choices that led to it? The Guardian asked, its voice echoing through the forest. Rohan, the tracker, spoke, his voice filled with empathy. We understand that choices have consequences, and that understanding and unity can heal even the deepest wounds. Luna stepped forward, her eyes meeting the Guardian's with unwavering compassion. We come not just to break the curse, but to mend the hearts that have been wounded. With each party member's words, the Guardian's form began to shift. The wings of light and shadow intertwined, merging into a harmonious whole. The curse that had befallen Eldoria began to unravel, and citizens who had been trapped in slumber began to awaken. As the last traces of the curse dissipated, the Guardian's form shifted once again, becoming a figure of pure light. Its voice echoed through the forest one final time. You have shown me the path to redemption, unity, and understanding. May Eldoria's future be bright, for your choices have broken not just a curse, but a cycle of division. Returning to the kingdom, the party was greeted with tears of gratitude from those who had been freed from the enchantment. The lessons they had learned, the importance of choices, unity, and empathy, had not only broken the curse, but had transformed the very fabric of the kingdom. And so, the triumphant resolution to the challenges that had tested Eldoria's unity, the party member's journey had not only brought about an alliance with Lidoria, but it also illuminated a path towards healing, redemption, and a future defined by the strength of a united kingdom. As they gazed upon the now peaceful plaza, they understood that the true magic lay not in curses or enchantments, but in the power of the human heart to choose understanding over division, light over shadows. With the curse broken and the unity of the kingdom restored, Eldoria entered an era of unprecedented prosperity and harmony. The alliance with Lidoria flourished, bringing about not just military strength, but a sharing of knowledge, culture, and friendship. The plaza, that had once been a battleground of differing opinions, now stood as a testament to unity adorned with sculptures that celebrated the diversity of the kingdom. The party members had become revered figures within the kingdom, their names synonymous with courage, wisdom, and unity. They
continued to serve Eldoria, each using their unique skills to contribute to the kingdom's growth. Elian trained a new generation of archers. Luna established healing sanctuaries. Kale chronicled the kingdom's history. Lyra's music brought joy to every corner. Rohan protected the land. Arya mediated conflicts. And Cassian's inventions enriched the lives of citizens. Years passed, and Eldoria thrived under the rule of Queen Serafina. Her wisdom and compassion guided the kingdom through challenges and triumphs, and her dedication to unity remained unwavering. The Great Assembly became an annual tradition where citizens gathered to discuss matters of importance and share their perspectives. One day, the party members were summoned to the palace by the queen. The years had etched lines of wisdom and experience on their faces, yet their spirits remained strong. Friends, Queen Serafina began, our kingdom owes its prosperity to your unwavering commitment to unity. As a token of gratitude, I offer you a choice, a choice that will forever bind your fates to the destiny of Eldoria. The party exchanged glances, knowing that this choice was not just about them, but about the legacy they would leave behind. Each member's heart was filled with a sense of purpose, a desire to ensure that the lessons learned and the unity achieved would endure. I choose to continue serving Eldoria to protect and nurture its unity, Elian spoke, his voice firm. One by one, the party members echoed their commitment, pledging to remain guardians of Eldoria's unity and prosperity. Years turned into decades, and the party's names became legends. Their stories passed down through generations. The kingdom of Eldoria flourished, its people embracing diversity and empathy, its leaders guided by the wisdom of unity. And so, our tale comes to a close, a tale of choices and consequences, of unity triumphing over division, and of the enduring power of the human heart. The legacy of the party members and the lessons they learned lived on, a beacon of hope for Eldoria and all who heard their story.